Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to take a quick look at Aviate for Android. The Android home screen changes every now and again, and sometimes you can get a third-party launcher to really spice things up a little bit, but there's not a ton different about that experience overall. Aviate changes that a little bit. Uh, you've got uh, th this primary home screen here with your apps that are organized into different categories, but then also organized alphabetically so that you can go and access all of your apps if you need. But really, there's this cluster of primary apps that you set here in the bottom along with a pair of widgets. Uh, now, this area for widgets is a lot less than what a lot of Android users are used to. Uh, you can have uh, up to four widgets here, but they only take up the, the one you know space. Uh, or you can have one widget that takes up all of it. Uh, I, I prefer two uh, for the setup that I've used here. You can swipe down and access some pretty basic quick settings. You can access temperature. Uh, your alarm controls are here. And there's this, uh, this home section here, which is uh, apps that Aviate will recommend. And right now it doesn't have any that it recommends to me. Uh, but depending on which space you're in, it will recommend different apps that it thinks you may want. Spaces are an interesting new thing. In concept, it uh, takes whatever your location is or, or the fact that you're traveling and it optimizes your home screen experience based on that. Unfortunately, it's not super great at guessing. Uh, so sometimes I find myself choosing a location or, or going in and correcting when it chooses a location for me. Uh, but when you find a location, you can get reviews, you can check in, although check in doesn't include uh, Google's check in service yet. Uh, and, and once you're in that service, you know, the, the icon chains is over and, and you've got everything squared away. Uh, settings is set up as a space, which is a little awkward, uh, but allows you to quickly access the settings if you need to. And they have set up both a light and dark theme for Aviate currently. There may be more themes available later, but the dark theme keeps everything looking nice uh, and, and, you know, muted colors. If you've got white in your widget, then... Uh, it's not going to get rid of that because it's not going to it's not going to alter the widget in any way. Uh, but you can you can manually switch spaces and it'll give you access to all of that same information, or you can keep the setting space and just swipe down from the home screen and quickly access uh, each one of the spaces. This has been a quick look at Aviate for Android. It's in beta right now, but there are invites rolling out all the time, so keep an eye out. Thanks for watching.